Hey guys, this is gonna be a Monday workout. Uh, we're gonna start the week actually with uh, one of uh, my all time favorite workout. It's a benchmark workout and the name is Fight Gone Bad. For those of you that uh, like UFC fights, it kind of mimics a, a fight, which is five minutes of uh, work, one minute of rest, three rounds. So here's what we got. Minute one, we're doing thrusters. Minute two, we're doing single arm power cleans. Minute three, jump overs. Minute four, shoulder to overhead. Minute five, burpees. We take a minute rest, and we're gonna repeat this three times. All right, here's how we're gonna warm up today. We're gonna to start with 10 bootstrap squats. We've done this before. We squat down, you guys grab your toes, hips up, uh, it's extension when you push down, uh, when you squat down, push the knees out. And again, down and up. You complete 10. After you finish with those, we have 10 Cossack squats. Again, it's an exercise that we do quite a bit lately. So the hips go back, you push the knee out, and we squat all the way down. Very important here is we're squatting down to keep the whole foot down. If you have a hard time executing this exercise, Grab a chair, grab a table, hold a broom, something that can help you uh, keep a little bit better balance. So we have 10 of those, 10 of those. Next one, we're gonna complete Tabata. You guys can find Tabata song pretty much anywhere. Go on Google and Google Tabata song, YouTube Tabata song, you can find a lot of them. Tabata is eight, eight rounds of 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. This one is gonna be a Alternating Tabata, we're gonna to start with 20 seconds of squats, we rest 10 seconds. 20 seconds of burpees, we rest 10 seconds. And we go back and forth for eight rounds. After we finish this, right into, a, we go for 10 downward dog to a cobra. Here's how this one looks like. Downward dog, we're gonna tuck the head through, we're gonna get a good stretch, and then from here, we're gonna to go to the cobra. You can shift from side to side, get a little extra stretch. Down again, downward dog. Cobra. We got 10. After we finish with those, we have the scorpion stretch. We lay down on the floor, face, facing the floor, arms to the side. Then we're gonna bring opposite leg, towards the opposite arm, hold one, two. Then the other side, we count one, two, three, we complete 10. This is gonna be our warm up. Now we're gonna to move to the prepping for the workout. We're gonna keep it pretty simple. We're gonna complete 10 reps of each exercise that we're gonna be doing during the workout. So let's go over the first one. Today, the goblet thrusters, we're gonna call this a goblet thruster because we're gonna hold a dumbbell in front of us. We're gonna squat down, then we're gonna press overhead. Down, press overhead. So don't break anything, make sure that uh, you have enough, enough height. For this one, there is two important parts of this exercise. It's gonna be the bottom of the squat. Make sure you squat all the way down. And when we stand up, extend the arms. We complete them. Next one, we have a dumbbell single arm power clean. So 10 reps, we're gonna split on five and five. Five with one arm, five with the other. We're gonna be doing the cleans, dropping this dumbbell right in the middle. Then we're gonna pull, bring it to your shoulders. Down again, bring it to your shoulders. Complete five, then switch arms. Complete five more. Important here, when we're leaning forward, to keep our back straight. What we don't wanna do is rounding the back. Spine should stay neutral. Here you go. Those are our dumbbell single arm power plane. Next one, we have jump over an object. You guys can jump over the dumbbell, you can jump over something a little bit higher. As long as you make things challenging, also about the jump, we can make a lateral jump. If you have any knee issues, maybe that's not the best way to do it. You can do step overs. Or you can jump 
back and forth. Or you can step. All right, I'll let you guys decide how you want to do this one. The goal here is to just keep moving. Now we're doing 10 reps. Now we have dumbbell shoulder to overhead. For this one, we bring the dumbbell to the shoulder. We're gonna dip, drive, and again, fully extend the arm, lock the elbow, keep the belly tight. Down again, we dip, drive, and press. Drive, and press. Now we do five with one arm, five with the other. And the last one, we have burpees. Now we're gonna complete 10 burpees. Not much to say about the burpees. We wanna go chest down to the floor. When you stand up, make sure to open the hips. Get a little bit of a jump. So just to reca recap the prepping, we have 10 goblet thrusters, 10 dumbbell single arm power cleans, five and five. Jump over dumbbell, every time you jump count it is one. One, two, three. Dumbbell shoulder to overhead, again five with one arm, five with the other arm, and then burpees, we're going for 10. After you finish the prepping, take a short break, get some water, and then you're gonna need a timer. This timer, you gotta be watching because every minute we're gonna switch exercise, but we're not taking any rest between those movements. We take a break after five minutes of work. So, the thrusters, we already went over those. Hold the dumbbell in front of you, squat, press. Single arm power cleans. Here we have a minute of work. I want you guys to complete 30 seconds holding the dumbbell with one arm. Get as many power cleans as you can. 30 seconds holding the dumbbell with your other arm. Jump overs. Here the goal is gonna be for a full minute. You guys just keep moving without stopping. Okay, we don't need to jump very high, but we want to keep it, keep on moving. Shoulder to overhead, keep the dumbbell in front of you, elbow underneath the dumbbell. We dip, drive, and press. We complete 30 seconds, as many reps as we can, and then 30 seconds we switch arms. Burpees, we got a full minute. Again, here the goal is going to be to pick up a slow, steady pace that you know that you can sustain for a whole minute. Take a minute rest. We're going to repeat three times. The score for today, and I highly encourage everybody to keep track of the reps. Go to Zen Planner, use your app, and log in the score. The score is going to be all the reps combined throughout the workout. I would recommend you guys grab a piece of paper and a pen. When you're taking a minute rest, combine all those reps together, write it down. And uh, yeah, your score is going to be total reps from all three rounds. That's all we have for today, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for doing the workouts. Bye-bye.